Hello, my grade 3 students. So, this is me, your teacher, Erica. So, I hope that you're doing good staying at home there, okay? So, just keep safe around. Today, we will talk about um, the duration and interval of time. Okay, again, let's read. Duration and interval of time. Alright, so what is this about? Okay, let's discuss this further. So, I have here an example. I will put uh, some of the example. So, here as you can see on the screen, okay, there's a girl. Girl named Holly. Okay, Holly loves to play piano. And she started at 3.35 p.m. Okay? So she started to play piano at 3.35 p.m. And she finished it at, what time is that? Alright, it's 4.15 p.m. Now the question is, how long does it uh, took her to play the piano. <clears throat> Alright. So, we will get uh, to know the answer. Alright. Now, as you can see here, from 3 p.m. Okay. From 3 p.m. I mean 3.35 p.m. Alright. Going to... 4 o'clock p.m. How many minutes from 3.35 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m.? Okay. Remember, in one hour, there are 60 minutes, right? Okay. So, what do you think? Alright. So, it's 25 minutes. Okay. From 3.35 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m., it's 25 minutes. Now, since she finished it from um, at 4.15, now from 4 o'clock going to 4.15, how many minutes? It's another 15 minutes. Alright. So now, to get the um the time the duration of time that uh he uh she has in playing piano all right so let's just sum this up add this 25 minutes and the uh, 15 minutes all right so um molly i mean holly played the piano for how many minutes? How many minutes? When you add this to? It's... Okay, 40 minutes. Alright. So, it took her 40 minutes in playing piano. Alright. Next. Um, Alright, I have here an example. So, this is Blake's, guys. Meet Blake's, alright. Blake's passion is playing piano, I mean violin. Blake's passion is playing violin, alright. Violin or violin? Violin. <laughs> okay, Blake's passion is playing violin, alright. So, this is Blake's, guys. And he started to play the violin at, what time is this? It's 11.50, let's say this is morning, 11.50 a.m. Alright? Now, and then he finished playing violin at, what time is it? It's 12.45 PM again from eleven a I mean from eleven fifty AM to twelve forty five 
p.m. Alright, now we're going to know the duration of time uh, that he took in playing violin. Alright? Okay, now let's find out how many minutes. Now, from here, 11... Okay, this is 11.30, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, this uh, line here, it represents 5 minutes interval, alright? 11.30, Okay, so from 11.50 to 12 p.m., 12 o'clock p.m., how many minutes is that? From 11.50 to 12 o'clock p.m. It's? How many minutes? Alright, so it's 10 minutes. Alright. And then, from 12 o'clock p.m. to 12.45. So, again, this line is by 5 interval. 12.05 p.m. 12. 10 p.m., 12, 15 p.m., 12, 20 p.m., 12, 25 p.m., 12, 30 p.m., 12, 35, 12, 40, and then 12, 45. So here, all right? So let's play our video here. So from 12 o'clock to... Okay, so from here to here, because it's uh, he finished playing violin at 12.45 p.m. So from 12 o'clock going to here, it's how many minutes? 45 minutes, all right? So let's uh, sum it up. 10 minutes plus 15 minutes. So, how many minutes in all? Alright, so 55 minutes. Okay, Blake's played the piano for how long? 55 minutes. Alright. That's how you're going to uh, get the duration of time. Okay, duration is like how long the time. Okay. Next. Okay. So that is about the duration of the time. So next, let's proceed to getting the, in getting the interval of the time. So now, okay, this is about the interval of the time. First, we will get to know the interval. I mean, we will get to, um, yeah, know the um, how to get the interval of the time by whole hour first or by hour. So we have here an example. Rita went to the market at 9 o'clock a.m. Again, Rita went to the market at 9 o'clock a.m. She returned home at 12 o'clock noon. 12 noon. Okay. Rita went to the market at 9 o'clock a.m. Alright. She started at 9 o'clock a.m. And returned, went back to her home 12 o'clock or 12 noon. Alright. So how long or how many hours did she spend shopping? How long or how many hours? Okay, to find the answer, okay, we can, okay, it's either we will count forward or we will count backward, all right? Forward, it's from the time that she started uh go to the market and the time that she went back home all right okay so we can 
come forward all right from the starting time of the activity till the ending time of the activity or we will or we can count backward so if backward from the time that she finished or she went back home okay going backward from the time that she went to the market all right okay now let's solve okay to count forward okay from nine o'clock starting time nine and then going to okay so add one hour because nine o'clock next is ten o'clock right you add one hour so ten o'clock then after ten o'clock what time is it the next the next time all right it's 11 okay 11 so add one hour 11 next you add another okay what is the number after 12 or what time is it after 11 11 o'clock it's 12 so add one more hour 12 okay this is her starting time the starting time that she went to the market as you can see here it's nine right nine o'clock and then the ending time is 12 noon so how many hours from 9 to 12 let's count one two three one hour one hour one hour so one times three it's three hours all right so how many hours did she spend shopping it's three hours all right h stands for hour and then m for minutes or m i n for minutes again how many hours how many hours did she spend shopping three hours all right so that's how you're going to you're going to get the interval of time okay next we have more examples so this is for the whole hour by hour oh i for, before i forgot okay what about if it's backward so this one is forward backward is from the time ending time to starting time so what time did she end? It's 12 noon, right? Okay, from here, all right. Okay, let's continue to play the video. All right, so from the um, ending time, one hour, from 11 to 10, another one hour, 10 to 9, another one hour. So you can either um, use forward method or backward. Okay, you can count it backward. So you will get the same answer. As you can see here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 hour. So total of 3 hours, all right? So it's still 1 hour times 3. 1 to 3. 3 hours. All right, so this is about um, by our um, example, All right? So Rita spent three hours shopping, All right? Okay, everybody, I want you to read this. Okay, Rita. Okay, Rita spent three hours shopping. Okay, next. Another example. So this is now about minutes or interval of five minutes. Earlier, we have an example of about uh, hour. Okay, now it's about minutes. So Amen started from his home 
at 8.15 a.m. for school. He reached his school at 8.45 a.m. Again, Eamon started from his home. Okay. He left his home at 8.15 a.m. for school, going to school. And he reached the school. He arrived at school at 8.45 a.m. Now, the question is how much time did he take to reach school? How much time did he take to reach school? All right? So, let's find out. So, we can, again, count it forward or backward. You will get the same answer either way, okay? So, again, it's the starting time. It's 8.15, all right? Next. Okay, by 5 minutes. So, 8.15 and then add 5 minutes. So, what time is it now? 5 minutes. It's 8.20, all right? Next, another 5 minutes. It's 8.25. What about another 5 minutes? So, it's 8.30. Alright. Next. Another 5 minutes. Alright. It's 8.35. And what do you think the time here? If it uh, adds another 5 minutes. Alright. It's 8.40 min uh, time. Alright. So, eight, it's 8.40 time. Alright, another 5 minutes. So, it's 8.45. So, as you can see here, this is the starting time, 8.15, right? And then, he arrived at school. He arrived in school at 8.45 a.m. So, how long? How much time did he take? Okay. Can you count? Five, five, five. How many five minutes here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can also do uh, the multiplication to get the answer, right? Okay, let's count. So you, you can just add. So five plus five, ten plus five, fifteen. Plus 5, 20. Plus 5, 25. Plus 5, 30. So, how many minutes? Okay. It's 30 minutes. Alright. Or you can just add, or I mean multiply to make it shorter. To solve it um, faster. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 5 minutes. So, the total is 30 minutes. It took him 30 minutes before he arrives at school. Alright. Now, this is counting forward. So, you can do backward. So, from here, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes. So, you will still get the same answer. So, the answer... Therefore, Amen took 30 minutes to reach his school. Everybody read. Try to read. Amen took 30 minutes to reach his school. Okay, read it one more time. Okay. Next. So, we already uh, discussed on uh, in how to get interval of time based in hour and now just done in minutes, like five minutes. Now, this time, we will have a, what about if it's involved with hour and minutes? Okay, now we will have another example, another situation 
Rayma took an art lesson and it started from 4 o'clock p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Alright? Now, for how long did her lesson last? Okay, how many minutes or hour? Hour and minutes. Um, took her to in her last art lesson. Alright, so let's find out. Okay, here's the solution. Step one, count the time in hours first. All right, to make it easier. So from four to five, how many hours or hour is that? Okay, from four to five, it's one hour. Okay, H stand for hour. Next, so after you're getting the hour, Let's count the time, the count time in minutes. Now, so after five o'clock, how many minutes here? From five o'clock to five thirty, how many minutes? It's all right. So thirty minutes. Okay, this one is minutes. Stands for minutes. Shortcut. Okay, thirty minutes. Next, the next step, let's sum this up. So the total time, we have 1 hour and 30 minutes. Okay. So therefore, Raymond's lesson lasted for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Everybody read. Raymond's. Lesson lasted for one hour and 30 minutes. All right, so that's our final answer. Actually, if, if it's word problem, you need to write your final answer with this, with at least one sentence like this one. All right. Yeah. And then it is very important that you're going to write the label like one hour or each stands for hour and then 30 minutes. M I N shortcut for minutes. All right. Next, let's see if we have more examples here. All right. So Jack's favorite television show starts at 3 30 p.m. Again, 3.30 p.m. It ends at 4.30 p.m. What is the duration or the interval of the show? Starts 3.30 and 4.30. Okay, now the starting time, 3.30. The ending time, 4.30. What do you think is the answer? What do you think? How long? How long? Or what is the duration of the show? The television show. I guess you got it right. Okay, let's see. Okay, step one. You have to count the nearest hour. So from 30, 3.30... Okay, to 4 o'clock here. Alright, so 3.30 to 4 o'clock. We have 30 minutes, right? Alright, next. So from 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock to 4.30, which is the ending time. How many minutes? It's... 30 minutes. So you have to sum this up. Add this and this one. Okay, we have. Alright, so 30 plus 30. 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is in hour. You can we can convert this in hour. Okay, one hour because one hour is 
60 minutes. Okay, all right, one each or one hour. All right. So, hence, therefore, we can conclude the duration of the TV show was one hour. Can you read it again? Okay, by your own. Ready? Okay, just repeat after me. Hence, the duration of the TV show was one hour. All right. So I guess that's all for today. So that is our lesson for today. So I hope that you enjoy our lesson. So it's a bit, you know, uh, difficult, but I know you can do it, right? So just practice more by playing this video over and over again. All right. You have to study because in later time, we will have, you're going to answer worksheet.